Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is the end of the PDSA fundraiser. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are going to be going over the PDSA fundraiser, actually the gold routine that we actually constructed while we were actually doing this. Now, aside from all of that, let's get into the main thing of the actual fundraiser, which is basically for the month of January, started last year, and now for this year we actually did the just giving once again link and then we actually raised 131 pounds thank you for everyone who actually has donated and supported the fundraiser for the actual month of january through the first of january towards the 31st i would like to do this more in the future when when it comes to like every single january and i will probably be doing so throughout where we do like 31 days of gold making and we'll just carry on and continue with that so from all of that guys thank you very much for supporting me in the fundraiser so other than that let's actually get into the gold routine that we constructed now the gold routine that we actually constructed is pretty dead simple basically what we actually came up with was a simple way in order to make gold now if we actually log out of our characters and we go into our main like character board of all of our different characters that we actually have that some of them have their own specific things so we knew that gathering was a good way in order to make gold. We know that if you do an hour's worth each and every day, you can get a hefty amount of gold overall. Now, a lot of people wanted a gold routine that was a bit more casual and all that stuff. So we went ahead with that. So what we actually came up with was Warlocks. So Warlock, if you have a Warlock, you can do the Sealed Tome of Lost Legion. And this takes about seven minutes per day and you can basically just go around and kill all of the rares on the Isle of Thunder. This has netted me in a decent chunk of gold overall. That is the first part to the actual gold routine, a Warlock based farm, which actually nets you in a decent chunk. of. So that being said, what other things do we actually have in this? Well, we have the Crush and Thrusher toys. Now we have a couple of characters in Lunathal, such as like Giblet, and he is basically, his objective for the day is to log on and do two five minute farms, which is 10 minutes. And that is for the Nagran rares, so the rares in Nagran for the Ogres, and also the Tanan rares, which are for the Crush and Thrasher toys. These net you in a decent okay amount of gold, and, but remember they are RNG based, but that seemed to pull in some decent gold as well. Along with that routine as well, we're currently up to 17 minutes. So 17 minutes to just do the Tanan rares and the Nagarand rares along with the sealed term of Lost Legion. 17 minutes is quite easy in order to do. As it came to farming, we also went over a couple of dungeon farms that you can actually do, such as the Dark Heart Thicket and also the Volatile Air Farm. Personally, if I would have it my way, I would do the Dreamly Farm. Yes, it takes about 30 minutes, whereas the Volatile Air one only takes like 19 to 20 minutes, but the Dark Heart Thicket one for Herbalism actually does provide you with a lot more gold in the long run. So therefore, if you do have a herbalist that hasn't actually got anything better to do, then Dark Heart Thicket it is at bringing us up to 47 minutes. Now, what would we do for the other 13 remaining minutes? Well, that would be Frostfire Ridge. Now, Frostfire Ridge, I'm just gonna round it up so it's 50 minutes because it literally is just log on but my Death Knight was doing this. That one's for the Garm Nighthowl mount. So the Garm Nighthowl mount is a pretty decent mount overall, and it sells for an okay amount. So what you do is you would log on to your, Demon, your Death Knight or whatever character you're using to camp it in Frostfire Ridge, and the rare is called Not Karosh if you actually didn't watch that video. Overall, you have a 100% drop chance on that mount and it sells from anywhere from like 400 to like a thousand gold depending on your server which works out really well for just one quick log each and every day you basically log on if the rare is up you kill it you get the 100 percent mount if not you log out and at the end of the week you send them all over to your banker to resell on the auction house and it pulls you in a tidy sum that brings us up to 50 minutes so what else did we actually have and that is where Iranos is my warrior and basically he is in the timeless isle killing all of the rares 
the entire loop for all of the rares that I want to actually farm, which is like the Jade Fire Spirit, Jade Mist Dancer, the Ominous Flame, the Gucci Swarmling. It's basically just running around the entire island in like a circular motion and killing any of the rares that are up for that. If you actually didn't watch that video, you, I suggest you do. But aside from all of that, I just do that and see if I can get any of the battle pets. That usually takes around about 10 minutes, which brings us up to an hour's worth of farming for one gold rotation, with actual material farming included. So therefore, we've maximized the amount of profit, we've got some high ticket items that can actually generate you some decent gold as well, and it, this routine is completely constructed to do better than just a standard flat gold making routine of just farming herbs or mining for an hour or so. As, along with that if you did want to adapt this and make it any better for yourself to make it easier for yourself or make it a bit longer or a bit shorter then deduct or add whatever you so wish that you would want to add in. But aside from that, that is my gold making routine at this moment in time and I'll probably continue it, I may tweak it in the future but aside from all of that I'm just very happy we came to up to this nice little routine in general. Now, along with this, while I'm logging back into my character, I'd like to actually go over that I will be taking a break. Yes, um, basically, I haven't actually stopped or taken a, a day off of YouTube or, alas, work, and for over 403 days, I actually did the mathematics on it. Yeah, I haven't actually um, taken a break for like <laughs> over 400 days so I have decided to actually have a week off starting tomorrow from the 1st of February to the 7th of February I'm taking a complete week off of work my IRL work and also YouTube as well um, I'm feeling a little bit burnt out at the moment and kind of a bit uh, very very tired at the moment like constantly so I think it will do me a world of good just to take like a week off and then come back with some awesome stuff that I am actually planning on doing. There will be a few little tweaks coming in in the future as well with all of that, but I'll let you know when I return what's gonna be happening to the channel and all of that stuff. That'll be like the first video, what's happening, what's changing, what we're gonna do, and all that stuff. Um, I'm also gonna upgrade a load of stuff, such as like my editing software and all that stuff, but, but I'll let you know in the future as well. So, Along with that, I will be taking a week off, is basically the premise of this. I'll be taking this next week off. For, for Patreon actual subscribers, you will be getting five bullets Sunday today, um, if you have not already, depends on when this video is uploaded. And also on Sunday, the Sunday coming on the 7th, you'll be receiving the five bullet Sunday and the weekly uh, tip on the afternoon of that day so depending on where you are it would be the afternoon UK or about midday for US people so hopefully you don't mind all that stuff I really do think a week off would actually be kind of helpful don't get me wrong I often appreciate you all but um, yeah I'm gonna have some much needed rest after quite a lot of days of daily so that being said, that is everything I want to talk about for today. Have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you within seven days. Take it easy and have an awesome rest of the day. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.